as the mixer and digester. When the food is present in the oral cavity or mouth, the nerves present in the cheek and tongue get stimulated and send messages to brain in the form of nerve impulses. These in turn get transmitted to the wall of stomach and stimulate the gastric glands to produce gastric juice. The walls of stomach secrete juices containing hydrochloric acid, HCL, stimulated by nervous system. When the muscles of stomach contract, the food gets mixed with the acids and juices present in stomach. These digestive juices convert the food into a smooth chopper-like texture called chyme. As the process comes to an end, the contractions of the stomach decreases. This relaxes the muscles called as pyloric sphincter at the opening of the stomach and the first part of the small intestine or duodenum. This in turn opens the pathway into duodenum by releasing the partially digested food, chyme, in small quantities into the duodenum. Peristalsis involves the contraction of the muscle behind the food and the relaxation of muscle in front of the food. This process helps in forward movement of food. Now, let us observe the action of peristalsis in animals. stomach as the mixer and digester. When we carefully observe the neck and throat of a buffalo or a cow while chewing, we observe movement from its throat to mouth. It is the food bolus moving from a part near the stomach to its mouth. It is called as reverse peristalsis action. This is because the ruminants like cow or buffalo have an extra pouch in the stomach to store the swallowed food quickly. In human beings, it is mainly a protective mechanism to eject unwanted substances from the food canal. Now, let us learn about the movement of materials from mouth to the digestive system in human beings and the time taken to digest the food in stomach and small intestine. We know that the digestion of food starts from mouth and passes through the gut. In order to digest, the food settles for some time at different locations. Due to this reason, the food does not move uniformly throughout the digestive system. The table on the screen shows the average time periods. Our stomach looks like a pouch which is elastic in nature because size of stomach increases depending upon the food which we eat. Based on the quantity of food material, the digestive juices are released. If same amount of digestive juices are produced irrespective of the quantity of food, then the walls of the stomach would be destroyed. The HCL acid secreted by walls of stomach is strong enough even to digest the hard bones.